Good morning! Today is root canal day. I've been hearing different things about root canals. One girl at work told me that she was in pain for like a week afterwards and she said it's like the most horrible thing ever. I really don't know what to expect because I've never really even thought about getting a root canal. It's not something I ever thought I would get done. So I'm just sitting in bed now. Um, I have to take my antibiotics, drink it my decaf coffee, um, and yeah, I think I'm going to look up some more stuff about what root canals actually entail. Part of me is like, maybe I shouldn't look it up because maybe it'll look really bad and then I'll be terrified when I'm in there. Or uh, maybe I should look it up because the more I know, the more um, confident and comfortable I'll be in it. Yeah, so anyways, root canal day today. I'm going to take you guys with me, but I'm definitely not going to take you in the dentist's office because this is the first time I've met the dentist. I really just want this to go well. I don't want to add anything else to the appointment. Um, yeah, but I'll, I'll keep you up to date. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. So I looked up all about root canals, and it actually sounds like it's not too bad. I think the biggest deal is going to be, for me personally, is going to be getting the needles, the freezing done, because if you guys have seen my I hate needles video, I hate needles, especially those giant freezing ones that they stick in your mouth. And then um, I guess the other thing is that uh, I heard that it could take like two to three hours, so it might be pretty boring, but besides that it should be fine. Um, yeah, my, my, my mouth might hurt a bit afterwards, but honestly it should be Fine. I think I just have to convince myself to completely trust this dentist 100% and then yeah and then I'll be comfortable the entire time but if I'm sitting there thinking like oh this guy could screw up at any second then I'm just gonna be stressed out the entire time and it's gonna be so difficult but I'm sure it'll be completely fine really been stalling. I I think my appointment's at, I think she said 140, but I don't know, it's kind of a weird number like that. Maybe 130. And yeah, I've just kind of been stalling. I have all of this paperwork she asked me to fill out. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, dental history medical history. Oh, that's actually not that much. So I really have to get this stuff filled out and then uh, and then head out there. Yeah, I've just kind of been stalling and like, I don't know. I'm gonna wear super comfy clothes today because I figured it only makes sense to just wear really comfy clothes. I'm gonna take a Tylenol before I go. I am three months pregnant, but uh, Tylenol is supposed to be okay for me. So I'm gonna take a Tylenol right before I go in and then I think I'm just gonna I think that's my last Tylenol so I'm gonna have to buy some more as soon as I get out of there and yeah I packed myself some snacks that are soft so I can eat afterwards as well and right now I'm thinking like maybe I should load up on some water and not so that I have to pee when I'm there but just so I'm like hydrated so load up now and then I still have like another hour so hopefully I'll you know pee before before it because it would suck to be stuck there having to pee hmm maybe I should rethink this so I just parked at um, just outside of the dentist's office and I'm feeling good I'm not nervous I'm feeling like tired I'm almost thinking like maybe it'll be nice to lay down for two or three hours while I'm getting this done I'll let you guys know how it goes afterwards like how much pain and how I'm feeling afterwards um, yeah and as I said I'm not taking you guys into the appointment at all but um, yeah wish me luck thank you so much guys see you in a bit hey guys that was so easy I'm just going to shoppers drug mart to pick up some Tylenol because I completely ran out and I'll talk to you in a bit so it turned out to be really easy and not too bad at all um, the part that I was the most worried about in the beginning 
was the needle and the freezing because like I said I don't like needles and I'm used to going to the dentist 10 plus years ago when they would use those huge long disgusting needles and stick them in there and you could feel everything um, but they don't do that anymore or at least not at this place um, she said they still have those needles but they don't use them um, in the beginning they use them like if they need to add some freezing but uh, what they had I didn't really look at it but it looked like just a very thin needle connected to like a cord so I at first I didn't even realize that he was using a needle until I felt like just a tiniest little pinch and then I realized like oh he's putting the needle in and it, and it kind of it takes a while sorry my phone's going off it takes a while for the needle for the whatever fluid the freezing to kind of go in there it's a slower needle but it's not a big metal thing it's just like sort of a long tube that connects to a machine somewhere behind you and yeah the, the freezing was awesome like the knee what well, wasn't awesome but the needle was so much better than I remember it ever being my mouth is still frozen right now so it sh should be frozen for another hour or two I guess um, yeah and then after that like you're laying down so that's great like it was kind of nice to be able to lay down and relax and there's a TV in the ceiling too but when he actually started doing the procedure I just kind of closed my eyes and just thought about other things it was no big deal at all and I think I heard somewhere that it could be two or three hours it was like less less than an hour no it was probably like about an hour but it felt like it wasn't very long at all like it was it was pretty good it was pretty awesome uh, they did take a couple x-rays they were digital x-rays which apparently is less radiation than the old school film x-rays um, so that was good to hear they first took an x-ray after he cleared out the whole root all of the canals or whatever after he cleared them out he took an x-ray to make sure that it was all cleared out and then once he filled it all up he took another x-ray to make sure it was all filled in and so yeah he said everything went really well uh, it went really well for me as well so yeah it was pretty good they say that there could be some tenderness afterwards for a couple days but it's probably not gonna hurt like it's probably not gonna hurt for a week like one of my friends from work told me um, yeah it's probably not gonna be that big of a deal at all so I do have to go back and get a crown put on my tooth and I'm three months pregnant now the doctor did say I might as well just wait until after I have the baby so that would be six months from now but um, I was talking to kind of the receptionist lady and I asked her if I would be able to wait closer to a year to get the crown and she said that should be fine as well because some people wait you know a year or longer even though you shouldn't because then your tooth can crack because it's basically just a dead tooth sitting in your mouth now so it's so easy for it to just fracture and crack so if I can wait a year then my husband's benefits will kick in and then um, yeah and then I won't actually have to pay all of that money she said usually benefits cover about half of the cost so even that would be perfectly fine yeah, so I, I'm not too worried about about the aftercare of this tooth. They said just kind of be easy on that side of my mouth. And because my mouth is frozen right now, they said, like, don't drink any hot fluids because you can't tell if you're burning your mouth. And don't, like, eat any really hard foods right now. But she said the filling should be completely hardened. Um, yeah, just wait, wait till the freezing's done before I, I don't know eat anything crazy all in all I think it went pretty well um, so let's see how it goes after the freezing I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update after the freezing is done as well because right now obviously I have no pain like I can tell that my mouth is there but there's no pain at all because yeah it's uh, frozen still so this is about three hours later the freezing is all gone from my mouth and honestly it feels perfectly fine I'm so happy that the hole in my mouth in my tooth is gone it's covered up and yeah there's no pain or anything um, yeah I have no idea if it's gonna feel painful later but it feels like awesome right now I bought that Tylenol but I doubt 
I'm gonna have to use any of it, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, so all in all, it went really well. It was pretty awesome experience, to be honest. Uh, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will talk to you again soon. Thanks. See ya. Bye.